The Tornado Core The center of the funnel At the heart of every tornado is its core, the central column of rotating air that extends from the base of a thunderstorm down to the ground. The air inside the core is incredibly dynamic. Unlike the calm eye of a hurricane, the core of a tornado is the most violent part. Wind speeds here can exceed 200 to 300 miles per hour in the strongest EF4 and EF5 tornadoes. This rotating column acts like a massive vertical vacuum cleaner, sucking in debris, dust, and even vehicles or buildings. The core is usually only a few hundred meters wide, though in some extreme cases, such as the 2013 El Reno tornado, it was over 2.5 miles wide. Pressure Drop Inside the Funnel One of the most fascinating things about the inside of a tornado is the dramatic drop in air pressure. Normally, air pressure at ground level is about 1,013 millibars. Inside a strong tornado, pressure can drop by 100 millibars or more in seconds. This sudden drop can cause buildings to explode outward if the pressure inside the building stays higher than outside. The lower pressure also helps sustain the funnel by encouraging surrounding air to rush in, spinning faster as it nears the center. This process is similar to figure skaters pulling in their arms to spin faster. Extreme Winds and Rotational Speeds The rotating winds inside a tornado are its defining feature. Most tornadoes have wind speeds between 65 and 180 miles per hour, but the most violent EF5 tornadoes can exceed 200 miles per hour. These winds spiral inward and upward, creating a deadly combination of horizontal and vertical forces. Near the ground, winds can pick up debris and hurl it at tremendous speeds. Higher up in the funnel, air is lifted and transported into the parent thunderstorm's updraft carrying dust, soil, and even large objects thousands of feet into the atmosphere. Debris Cloud at Ground Level At the base of the tornado, there is often a thick, dark debris cloud. This is made up of soil, dust, leaves, branches, roofing materials, vehicles, and anything else torn from the ground. The debris cloud is usually what makes a tornado visible in daylight, as the actual funnel is just rotating air and often hard to see. In strong tornadoes, debris can be carried for miles or even tens of miles downwind after the tornado dissipates. Pieces of homes, cars, and vegetation have been found over 50 miles away from their original location. Inflow Region – The Air Being Drawn In a tornado does not exist in isolation. Surrounding the funnel is the inflow region where warm, moist air from the surrounding environment is sucked in toward the tornado's base. This inflow feeds the tornado's rotation and helps keep it alive. The air in the inflow region often rushes inward at speeds of 50 to 100 miles per hour. People standing miles away may feel intense winds even if they're not directly in the tornado's path because they're being pulled toward the funnel. The inflow is also responsible for drawing in debris from surrounding areas. Updraft Column – Lifting Air Inside the tornado, inside the funnel, especially above the ground, air doesn't just spin. It also moves upward at astonishing speeds. The strong updraft inside a tornado can carry debris, water, and even heavy objects high into the parent thunderstorm. Updraft speeds in large tornadoes can reach 100 to 150 miles per hour, powerful enough to loft vehicles and large pieces of debris thousands of feet. This vertical motion explains why tornadoes often appear to clean an area by ripping up everything and sending it into the storm above. Rain and hail within the funnel. Although tornadoes form from thunderstorms, not all of them contain rain or hail inside the funnel. In many cases, especially in rain-wrapped tornadoes, heavy rain and hail surround or even fill the funnel, reducing visibility and making the tornado even more dangerous because it is harder to see. In drier climates, tornadoes can appear as clear funnels with little to no precipitation. The presence of rain and hail can also cool the air, sometimes weakening the tornado if it cuts off the warm inflow feeding it. Dust, dirt, and moisture, giving the funnel its shape. The iconic funnel shape of a tornado is usually visible because of dust, dirt, and condensed moisture droplets. 
The funnel often forms when the pressure drop inside the tornado causes the humid air to cool and condense into water droplets, creating a visible condensation funnel. However, if humidity is low, the funnel might be invisible and detected only by the debris cloud at the ground. Tornadoes on farmland often appear brown due to the soil they pick up, while those over open fields may look white or gray. Temperature and Humidity Inside the funnel, inside a tornado, temperatures can be slightly cooler than the surrounding air because of the rapid upward motion and expansion of air. The core can also be much more humid, as moist air is drawn in from the storm's updraft. These temperature and humidity differences contribute to the tornado's energy balance and can sometimes influence how visible the funnel appears. While not as extreme as pressure or wind differences, these variations still shape the storm's internal environment. Electromagnetic and lightning activity tornadoes often come with intense lightning activity. The updraft within the funnel helps separate electrical charges in the storm, which can increase lightning strikes near and around the tornado. Scientists have also observed small-scale electrical discharges within the debris cloud, caused by friction between particles of dust, soil, and debris. While lightning itself doesn't form the tornado, the electrical environment is an indicator of the storm's strength and intensity. Sound Inside a tornado Survivors often describe the sound of a tornado as resembling a roaring freight train or a low-pitched rumble. The noise comes from a combination of rushing wind, colliding debris, and pressure fluctuations. Inside the funnel, the sound can be deafening. Some storm chasers use special microphones to record infrasonic sounds, below human hearing range, that tornadoes emit. These low-frequency sounds can sometimes be detected before the funnel is visible, offering potential for improved early warning systems, debris distribution, and transport. The powerful updraft and winds inside a tornado can lift and transport debris over astonishing distances. After the 2011 Joplin, Missouri tornado, personal belongings were found more than 80 miles away. In some historic tornadoes, pieces of homes and even heavy machinery were discovered tens of miles downwind. Understanding how tornadoes loft and distribute debris is important for forensic studies of tornado paths and for designing stronger buildings. Micro vortices within the main funnel. In the strongest tornadoes, researchers have observed smaller whirlwinds, or suction vortices, spinning within the main funnel. These micro vortices can rotate much faster than the main circulation and are often responsible for the most extreme localized damage like a house completely destroyed next to one that remains standing. These internal vortices constantly shift and merge, making the tornado's damage pattern highly uneven and unpredictable. The myth of an empty hole in the center. A common misconception is that there's a calm, empty hole in the center of a tornado, similar to the eye of a hurricane. In reality, the entire funnel is turbulent with rotating winds, updrafts, and debris. While wind speeds may vary slightly from the edge to the center, there is no peaceful core. Anyone caught inside the funnel would experience intense winds, flying debris, and pressure changes, not a calm space. Research tools to explore the inside of tornadoes. Scientists have used Doppler on wheels DOW radar, drones, and specialized probes to study the inside of tornadoes. These instruments have provided valuable data on wind speeds, pressure drops, and debris behavior. The Twistex and Vortex research projects deployed pressure and wind sensors directly in tornado paths, offering some of the first direct measurements from inside a tornado. These studies help improve forecasting and enhance building codes to withstand strong winds.